Good morning and welcome to Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. I am Joy Inglet and today I'm hosting day two of our virtual Bernina booth uh, for the Minnesota Quilt Show. I hope uh, that you take a moment to tune in and comment and like and share this broadcast. Today I'm going to be exploring why you might want to add embroidery. Many times uh, I have folks come through the door and they say, I really only want a sewing machine. I never ever see me ever embroidering. And when I conjure up an idea of embroidery, I think about the little logo on the t-shirt. And yeah, probably I would never do that either. But I've had some time to explore some options. And what I find is many of those who uh, decided to go for the embroidery, they find that they have so many uses. And today I want to share some of those creative possibilities with you of why you might want to have embroidery in your life. So this morning is a bit of a show and tell and I hope you enjoy the look. So first off, growing up I did a lot of handwork, I still do, but one of the things I loved to do was to embroider dish towels. Now the sample I have this morning isn't a dish towel but it's a little home deck pillow I made. Bird Brain Designs has fabulous embroidery designs to look like hand work. So let's take a close up look of a pillow that I created. This is a Bird Brain design and it, this little snowman is just so sweet. It's let it snow. The thread was actually isocord. It's a polyester thread. I love it in my embroidery machine. And he's such a joyful little snowman. And quite honestly, I could use a little cool today because it's going to be another warm one here. But super easy. And it looks like it's hand done. And that's what I love about this project. So let's take a look at some other options. So that would be uh, the idea of hand look embroidery. And there are many designs out there. There are many from OESD that actually have captured those old Aunt Martha dish towel pattern ideas and they've digitized them. And you can buy those whole collections and you can put them onto whatever item that you'd like. Now speaking of embroidery, at Pine Needles we believe education is really important and every month we've had an embroidery club. For the past year it has been virtual and it is an advantage because you can actually go today under our video section and see what we have done this past year. Coming up June 25th our next embroidery club will meet and it will be uh, step by step how to create this amazing, we'll put up an image here, amazing zipper pouch that not only has that really cool embroidery on the front but it also has a zipper. So everything is done in the embroidery hoop from start to finish and I think that's pretty cool. When you register for this, we'll put a link in the comments, you will receive the complete OESD embroidery collection, a piece of fabric that you'll need to complete that zipper pouch and a zipper. You'll have to supply your own threads and uh, stabilizer but if you're ordering online you can do that at the same time or of course we are always happy to see you in your our store so stop in to pick those up so other possibilities are I'm going to just showcase the zipper pouch this is an in the hoop project and what is really interesting about this is not only are these little pieces pieced in the embroidery hoop and by embroidery hoop I'm going to just bring the big one out here even though this was done in a much smaller hoop. Embroidery hoop. It connects to your embroidery module. A piece of stabilizer goes in, layers go on. This zipper pouch did all the piecing, it did all the quilting, it has a backing, it has a zipper inserted with perfect top stitching, it has a lining, and everything is done start to finish in the embroidery hoop. Super fast, easy to make out of new fabrics or those little bits that you have left over from projects and who doesn't need another zipper pouch in their life. So that is a very creative, fun way to create an item. This happens to be a Kimberbell design and we are a Kimberbell dealer and we have many Kimberbell events. In fact, we have one coming up very soon called Summer Nights, where in one day you'll complete three completed projects. There's just, I think, two spaces left. Check out our website for that registration for Summer Nights. 
Okay, so one of the things I did uh, not very long ago is I taught a class called Flower Dance. And each month we met and we covered piecing techniques and embroidery techniques. Here are a few blocks from that, that uh, class. This is a Smith Street design. And what is really neat about this is that this is all applique in here and Smith Street digitized all of this beautiful stitch work around the um, piece. I'm going to show off this one, but look at the detail that is on these leaves. They have a sewing version as well, but this was again all done on an embroidery machine and then it is combined with other traditionally piece products. But what I'd like to highlight today is a tool that can go on your Bernina and it is called the cut work tool. And when I created this quilt, you of course can cut out all those pieces and add them on top for applique. But in this particular uh, embroidery design, there is a cut work file digitized. What I mean by this, this is a tool you can purchase extra from Bernina. It comes with a special foot 44C, which many of you may already own, but it has a chisel point tool, and that tool can cut through eight layers of fabric at one time. So when I created these, these different pieces, I layered up all the fabric I needed in a single hooping and cut them out at one time with that iron-on stabilizer on the back um, for each one. It only took me a short period of time to cut out all these detailed little pieces. Now I have set this up on my embroidery machine this morning. It's a quick little demo and what I have on my hoop are three layers of fabric with their stabilizers on the back of the fabric and it is applied to a piece of sticky stabilizer called Stable Stick by OESD to hold it all in place. It just takes a couple of minutes to cut out three sets of these leaves. And in this case for the quilt, that's all I needed to complete each month's blocks. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna move over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And what I have in here is where the needle lives, that little cut works tool goes. There are four four different uh, positions of the Cutworks tool, and it will stop after each directional change. I'm going to go ahead and hit go. After I confirm with my machine that we are in agreement as to what is on our machine. Okay. So the machine has now stopped and it's asking me to advance my cutter to position two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to hit start again.
All right, the machine is stopped. It's saying advance the needle to position three. Finally, position four. And that is the end. I'll go ahead and take it off and show you what the result is. So here I have, again, this is sticky back stabilizer that I use to stabilize the piece. And as the cutter cuts across grain, we do sometimes get some extra little hairs. I didn't take the time to extra starch this this morning. But I'm going to take this out and show you what we have. The hole, of course, where it was left. Now I could have put this in a smaller hoop, the hoop that comes with the machine. But the bigger hoop gave you a better view this morning of the work. But now I have these leaves and they are ready to go down on these pieces. On the back here, I have the stick them already, so I would peel that paper backing off and I would stick it in place and then that allows our embroidery machine to stitch around those. Now in addition to those shapes, let me just show you these shapes. Here we actually have lots of different sections. These tiny little hearts, I've used this sample a lot, so it's gotten frayed over time, but there are actually 18 little leaves that were cut out in about two minutes. Super easy. And again, all of these pieces were cut out using the Cutworks tool, and that really reduced the amount of time spent uh, tacking in place and trimming, and I got really perfect results each time. The advantage of putting the stabilizer on the back of these is it seals those edges in and you have less fraying and you have a more perfect applique. Applique is a fast way to lock things into place and to create a very visually stunning piece of work without a ton of time at the embroidery machine. So Cutworks is a tool that you can augment your embroidery machine and again many embroidery design files have the ability to um, load in the Cutworks file. Now another thing that uh, we as piecers, I'm going to go out on a limb here and suggest that many of you are quilters. We have all these tops and we have to make a quick little gift. Well, long armors are amazing people and they have superior talents, let me tell you. However, sometimes it's nice to make a quick little gift for somebody and not have to worry about the deadline. Because if you're like me, your life is really busy and sometimes you're up to the wire. Having an embroidery machine allows you to quilt your own pieces at home in your own time frame. You can do a little here, a little there. And this is an example of a quilt that was embroidered 
using the edge to edge quilting design area. And speaking of those things, we will offer a class this fall on edge to edge quilting. And when you purchase a machine, or if you're just interested in the edge to edge quilting technique, we do have a bundle put together for you to be successful in the beginning of your experience. The book we love to use is the one by Emily Scott and it's called Edge to Edge Quilting. And in the book, there are 10 designs in three different sizes. There are complete instructions for how to use her technique. We also have included a uh, hydro stick, which is the uh, material that we like to do our templates. In a moment, I'll highlight those. We've also included two other design collections. So you have lots of options for, uh, um, not embroidering, but for quilting your finished pieces. What we really like about her collections is that there are a variety of ideas on each one. They're not limited to a specific topic, and that is very nice. We've also included some double stick basting tape. We love this on the back of our embroidery hoops as we are placing it on our project. It helps hold the top hoop or the inner hoop to the top of our project so it's easier to get it placed straight in our hoop. And we've included a USB stick for you to start collecting those designs and some top stitching needles to have success while quilting. So this is a fun little bundle. It is, it is a possibility to get free with the purchase of a machine, or we have it available 10% uh, off in our web shop. We'll post a link in our comments. So that's the edge to edge quilting. And let me just show you, excuse the crinklies, some of the possibilities here. So the hydro stick is what we like to hoop up and that allows us to have the uh, placement of stitches and it allows us to have the beginning and end points line up on our project as we go. And once you have created one sample, you have them for future use so you know how big they are. Now this is sized large for the jumbo hoop, but you can put them in as small as an oval hoop. Within our machines, within our um, sewing machines, many have quilting files already built in. This is one that was built in my um, 880 and I expanded it extra large and I made it the size I needed to quilt over the top of a uh, pillow front that I was working on. And this hydro stick, what I like about it, here's another example, this was a um, another OESD collection. But what I like about having these templates is that you have a good visual for you to place and see because as quilters, many of us are visual people. So again, that idea of quilting in the hoop, you know, table runners, what a great gift to give a hostess now that we can go here and there. What a way to cheer up our tables or buffets and other spaces. This was quilted in the hoop and it took about a half an hour. It was five repeats across, super easy. Of course, we can make gifts for those new little additions in our family, whether they are our own children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, neighbors, kids, whoever. You know, there are um, little people that are added. With our Bernina machines, we have an open arm uh, sewing machine. This is unique to the Bernina setup. Most other machines have a flat bed system and you have to go to a multi-needle to get that small opening. But because we have this nice open arm area here, you can easily hoop up your project, even though it's we, and you can slide it underneath and that extra fabric can go underneath the embroidery arm or underneath the open arm area for easy uh, stitch out. So you can do little designs. Now this one, let's take a close up look at that, is actually in the sewing machine in the embroidery files. It was one little swirl and it was duplicated and mirror image. So this was done right on the machine and it created this sweet little design for the baby onesie. 
Now again, back to that traditional embroidery work. This is another bird brain design and it was a series of three and it says, welcome to my garden. And it had instructions for finish the, finishing it with this cute little prairie point. But again, we used, um, actually on this one, we used Aurifil thread, just your generic standard 50 weight thread. But because it was stitched over itself a few times, it created again that hand look on our work. So let's take a peek at that. Also, in the hoop designs, we have had Kimberbell Club every month for lots of months at our store. And we are transitioning to Embroidery Club and we're mis mixing it up a little bit. But we are uh, a Kimberbell dealer and we do get new designs every month. Both of these projects were completed start to finish in the hoop. This could be a little pillow. Mine is a little wall hanging, but all these pieces were pieced on the embroidery machine and quilted and edged and finished on the back. The little mug rugs, she has several collections and what is really fun about the Kimberbell mug rugs is that first of all, they're a little larger so you could put your coffee and your treat uh, without getting crumbs on your table or your coffee table or end table or wherever it is that you are having this. But it could also be stuffed to create a pin cushion if you'd like. They're just sweet. Again, applique, quilting, in the hoop, start to finish, wonderful choices. At our store, we offer uh, Bernina Ongoing Education. This is a project that we um, created. We started with uh, in the hoop zipper pouch design file from OESD company. But what we did is we learned how to use our machine to create the lettering and how to duplicate and add the little elements. So the part that is actually here was created using the editing functions on the embroidery machine. And again, everything start to finish was done in the hoop. I chose not to add the grommets, but it does have placement for the grommets so you can put it in a three ring binder. Again, who doesn't need a zipper pouch? In addition, we all should label our quilts. So this was done on an embroidery machine. It's a sweet little um, message that Brenda created for one of my quilts. And we'll do a little close up. On this particular one, we use Toolbox software by Bernina to create the design. And that's a really nice little plug and play. It has um, the lettering. You can download uh, designs as you wish. And she created this fun little quilt label for one of my quilts. While we're on the software idea, because I feel that software is a nice partner with your embroidery machine, because I haven't met a quilter yet that created a quilt to the pattern. All of us like to tweak and uh, change things a little bit. Software gives us that ability to take something that already exists and to make it our own. And it also gives us the ability to create something from scratch. So there are lots of beautiful fonts in software. Let's have a close up of those. And there's super small ones and there's handwritten ones. And those are really nice for all of those very popular recipe towels that are out there today. So many wonderful digitizers out there. One of them that we absolutely love is Claudia Donnell. She has a whole series of coasters and these are really wonderful. They're made in the hoop. Each collection has at least eight different designs. They're themed. This one happens to be from her Halloween uh, theme one. And again, super fun, easy to stitch out. It would go in uh, one of these smaller hoops even to stitch out. And that is done again, completely start to finish in the hoop. Embroidery can transform photographs with software into pictures. Let's have a close up look of that. So this was a photograph that was scanned and then digitized in the software to create this sweet little face. And we'll stay close up. 
We can also embroider using a couching foot. So if you have an open design, you can put on your couching foot and you can put some fun threads and cords and create unique three-dimensional artwork with your machine. So maybe you're a garment sewer. One of the things that's really beautiful is to take a fabric and create that three-dimensional look with uh, fun fibers and then cut it into a garment and a jacket or a blouse is just completely stunning or maybe even a skirt. You can create from a plain fabric something totally unique that matches whatever it is that you wish to look and you can have that high fashion look using your embroidery machine. I'm going to move through these again. So again another um, quilting in the hoop example. This one happens to be a little table topper but I often like to quilt the front of my pillows because it just adds some extra interest and on my pillows I do actually use the binding to finish it off. It makes adding that flap backing or a button backing super easy. One last thing, I stole this from my husband this morning. He doesn't know I have it. But <laughs> again, you know, starting with something that you've created yourself. This did take us a few, several hours and I'll just be honest, it did take us several hours to create this. This does not exist out in the digitized world, only in our home. We own a steam engine and he wanted to reproduce the uh, logo from a poster that was from the early 1900s. We were able to do that with the Bernina 8 software and uh, several, of course, stitch out trials. One thing is if you buy software, not software, but actually um, digitized embroidery designs, buy it from a uh, well-known company because they have digitized it to stitch out successfully. Uh, so OESD, uh, Claudia Donnell, Kimberbell, they all have good quality stitch outs. They test their work. And where that comes into play is the first time we digitized this, we had probably almost 200 thread cuts. That is not an efficient way to stitch something out. But we learned as we went and we do offer classes on how to use the Bernina 8 software at our shop. All right, let me move a few things off the table here because I have some bigger items. When Claudia Donnell comes this fall to offer, she has two three-day workshops scheduled. You can register for them on our website. She is offering the potting shed, which can be seen in our store, so stop in and take a look at that. And she's also offering the sewing room. Now this is a design that you can purchase now uh, from our shop. Let me stand up and show this off. This was uh, Through the Woods, it's one of our earlier digitized pieces. Do we have a good visual? But the thing that Claudia, being a Bernina ambassador, does extremely well, not only the digitizing, but she is a top-notch educator that will step you through how to line up one hooping to the next so that you're not limited by the size of your embroidery hoop. So this was a workshop we held a few years ago. We have also had this one. This one's called When Nature Calls. This is not available for purchase. It's only a workshop one. But another example of multi-hooping. There are at least four hoopings across the top. The ones in the middle are done in a very large hoop. But you can see that you can create really fun, unique pieces for people in your life. Now on that same embroidery theme, we have one more bundle that I wanna highlight this morning. We have the embroidery bundle, and whether you're new to embroidery or you just wanna freshen up your supplies, we have included Fusible Woven. This is the base of many of our embroidery projects. It, is, um, it stabilizes the cotton fabric to reduce the possibility of stretch and shrinking in as we stitch designs. We've included tearaway tape because there are times when you're layering those fabrics, you need to 
uh, secure the edges so your embroidery foot does not catch them as it moves across your work. We have curved scissors because if you're going to do applique, it's nice to get in there and um, cut away that excess fabric without having your fingers in the way. We've included an isocord thread chart so that you can mark off the threads you have in your collection. We have the 10 top colors of embroidery thread, so this gives you a good start in your embroidery life. Bobbin thread. Bobbin thread is lighter weight so that you don't have all that bulk underneath because typically your embroidery stitches are pulled to the back side so that your bobbin thread will not show on the top side. We have also included uh, some of our favorite embroidery needles, the Schmetz Embroidery Gold Needles. And this bundle can be purchased on our website or you can stop in the store to, to pick one up. They are 10% off during this quilt show, or this is one of the free gifts you can uh, add to your uh, machine that you purchased during the Minnesota Quilt Show. We do have financing available if you are thinking about getting a new machine, and that starts on Friday. Do you wanna go ahead and put that financing up? So we have 48 month financing and 60 month financing, 0% interest. Of course, you are always welcome to pay by cash, check, or a personal credit card. And let's see the savings that we have on our new machines as well. So it just happens that Bernina has this really nice summer sale promotion at the same time as the Minnesota Quilt Show. Be sure to check out uh, the machines. Stop in the store and uh, my colleagues will help you pick the perfect new machine for you. Hopefully, maybe you're thinking about an embroidery machine. We do take trade-ins, and of course you can uh, email or phone the store as well for more information. Thank you for joining me this morning. At 10 o'clock, I will be highlighting the top of the line machines, the 880, the 790, and the 590 machines. These are full embroidery machines, and we're gonna talk about what makes them different and the same from each other. And then be sure at one o'clock today, Alyssa and I will be having a little mini Marsha and Joy show where we will highlight some new quilts, some new products in our store. Continue to tune in, like, comment, and share. We appreciate that very much. And thanks for taking time this morning to join me. See you at 10 o'clock for the next broadcast.